Hello there and welcome to another Python video in which we are going to take the Pygame documentation as an example, protect it with password or encrypt it um, and then go back from our protected version back to the original one. If you've seen the videos before this one you already know that I'm using PyPDF2 as the library for this purpose and uh, from PyPDF2 we're going to import PDF file reader and PDF file writer. The logic behind this process is that we take a file, in this case it would be the PyGame documentation, add it to a completely new file, password protect it and then export it out. So we would have our original file that is not password protected and our new file that is password protected. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to create it as a function, so it's reusable later on if you want to uh, use it for 100 files instead of just one. In fact, if you use it for one, maybe it's not worth writing all the code. But anyway, first we're going to uh, focus on encrypting or password protecting a file and then we will go back to decrypting. So what is it that we need when we want to encrypt a file? We need our input file and we need a password. And once we have those two, then we should have everything uh, to, to proceed. The first step is we need to read that file. So PDF would be equal to PDF file reader. And what we're going to read is our input file. Writer, we need to set that to be equal to PDF file writer. And you might already know this is basically creating an empty PDF file. So at this moment, we have absolutely nothing in here. We're just using the PDF file writer class. The next step is for every page. So let's say every page or we can just use for I, but let's make it more descriptive. So for every page in range, pdf.getNumPages. So what this part does is it just returns an integer um, of the number of pages that there are in our PDF file. So in this case, uh, in our example, we would have 98 so this would just return 98 so for every page this would be from 0 up until but not including 98 what we want to do is first get that page so page would be equal to pdf dot get page every page and then uh, the next part is we need to add this page or every or just page in this case to our writer now to make it a bit more simple let's go back and use the standard i, so for i in range. And we're going to add this page. So after this has a run, what we have is our empty PDF file now has all the pages from our input file. So those two would be identical. Since the purpose of the tutorial is to encrypt it, writer.encrypt is the next step. And in brackets, we need to specify the password. There are a few more parameters that you can specify here, but if you just if you just want to protect it with password, this is the, the easiest way. The last part is we need to export it out, um, and if you if you want to add more uh, comments such as this one, feel free to. I think this is quite self-explanatory, so that's why I did not add anything. But if feel free to do so um, if you feel that's the case. So to export it, first we're going to open the file that we would like to have this exported to and at this moment we can already create some sort of a naming structure so we can for example uh, save this as encrypted plus maybe underscore here as well plus input file for example if our file was pygame.pdf our export file will be encrypted underscore pygame.pdf and we're going to open this in order to write bytes. So we're going to open this and let's say we want to have it as output file. Then the last thing that we need is writer.write output, output file. Now, once we have these 10 lines of code, we can use this function and encrypt as many files as we want. So how would that work? Encrypt. What we need to specify is our input file. So in this case, it would be pygame.pdf and we need to specify some password. Now, of course, you might want to choose a password that's difficult to guess, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just use password. Now, let's see if we run into any error or not. 
and let's see if what happens in our folder. So we can see that encrypted Pygame has already been created. If we open it, it asks for a secret password. Once we have that, it, it works fine. So that is our first part of this tutorial to create a function that you can reuse. And basically this is all that you need uh, from now on. And I'm going to remove this so we don't run it again and again. And now let's take this encrypted Pygame file and turn it back into our original state. It would not differ that much compared to our encrypt function. A lot of it would actually be repeated, but let's uh, create it from scratch just to, to see if we can follow the logic. So let's have our decrypt function. And what we need is again, we need some sort of an input file and we need a password. So it, this part is exactly the same. Um, we need to again have the file read. We also still need to create an empty file. So this we can just copy. But there is one uh, step that's a bit different compared to what we've done so far. And that is in our first example, we used to encrypt once we have the pages added. Now, first we need to decrypt it. So writer.decrypt using the password. And then we have the access to add it to our empty file. So that part we can copy down here again. And I hope that this makes sense. It's just the order of the actions are a bit different. In, in both cases, we have a completely empty file to which we add the pages of our target file. In the first page, we first add the pages, then password protected. In the second page, first we remove the password, then add the page to our new file. Now, the next step is similar to this one. So we need to use this with open. Of course, we need to change a bit the this naming structure. So maybe we don't want to have encrypted. Maybe we would like to have decrypted underscore input file. Now, in our case, it would be decrypted, encrypted by game file, but that's fine. It's, it's anyway for tutorial purposes. You might want to have here some different naming. That's, that's really up to you. Um, you might also want to have here input file, then maybe output file name and then password. So you can also have that part of, of the function. Now, once we have this, let's see if this would work fine. So decrypt. And then here we need our file name. So encrypted underscore pygame.pdf and our secret password. Let's see if we run into any error. Um, decrypt. So this should be PDF, not writer that decrypt, but PDF. So we are decrypting our PDF file, not the writer. That was the type. Let's see if that works better. Okay, so we have this decrypted encrypted by game. So we first encrypted and now we go back to the normal stage. And as you can see, it doesn't require any password. So it's fairly simple to, to follow this. Uh, in my opinion, it's it's quite self-explanatory, but if at some point you're stuck with this, uh, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.